that none of you have heard this. I would imagine that there has been none of the original people that have come to identify this to And perhaps we did not do this either. This is, like we said earlier, it is a result of the chaos in the world where we could be standing right next to each other and we will not even talk. Where we will not even feel our sister and brotherhood. Turtle Island. Every original person from this land, from as far south to as far north as you can go, has always identified this land as Turtle Island. On Turtle Island, you have 13 squares on the turtle's back. This is the 13 moons, the cycle of the year. And in each of these cycles, each of these moons, there is the ceremonies that the people must carry out, that the people must conduct. The ceremonies that link us to the creation from which we grew from. <coughs> Meaning that in each territory, the people have grown from that land. That means language has grown from that land. Communication, belief system, family has grown from that land. Think of Turtle Island, the body of our Mother Earth. Think of it like your body. And in your body, you have all these different organs. Heart, lung, liver, kidneys. You know that if you took the liver and tried to make it, well, put it in the, in the, the lungs, try to make it conduct like the lungs, you know that that would not work. You know that that would break down the liver and it would break down the lungs. And it would also break down the entire body. The body would cease to exist. There is many different organs within our body and they are all within that one body. And so we know that all these organs are what it takes to keep us alive, to keep us moving in this world. So there is none of these organs in our body that we can sacrifice. Your identity. That's what I must communicate with. And you must communicate with my identity. Because that's what happens in the body. The lungs, the liver, and all the different organs, they communicate with each other. And they honor and they respect each other. We know that a kidney can't uh, uproot itself and try to go into the territory of the lungs and try to take it over. We know that can't happen in the body. But in the world, this happens. And this happens through people. It's because people are no longer within their identity. There is an identity crisis in the world. And this is what is creating the chaos amongst people. And when there is chaos amongst people, our Mother Earth suffers. When the people forget their humanity, they forget who they are, where they come from, where they grew from. And then it becomes easy for people who have forgotten their identity to hurt our mother earth, to exploit what is called her resources. But it is a life force. When you hear trees being identified as a resource, this is a lie. And do not ever speak that lie. <coughs> trees are not a resource. Trees are a life force a life force of our mother and we must work with that life force the people are the life force of our mother and to work with the people <coughs> what is established here in turtle island is what is identified 
as the Negani Neohadi. This is the two world wampum peace treaty. After the first pirate ship, many pirate ships came. And all of them were all part of the pirate fleet. Right up until today. <coughs> Things happened. <coughs> when the people first came here from across the great waters, as you know, you all know the story by now, that of course, my ancestors welcomed everybody. When the first pirates came here, they were sick, they were dying, they were cold. It was impossible for them to survive here on their own. The only reason why those pirates survived is because we extended our hand in friendship. Because like you, like anybody, if you were by yourself somewhere and somebody comes into your area, you'd be happy to see them. Wow, other people. And when we seen other people who did not look like us, we knew that it was part of our family that was returning home. Part of our family had come back home. But their identity had become distorted. They lost their identity. They were now pirates on a pirate ship with the intent, again, to thieve and rape and murder. After a while, after we nursed them back to help, after we gave them food, after we gave them lodging, helped them, showed them how to live in this world, then as you know how the story goes, they began to take too much. They became disrespectful. They started to kill. They started to rape. And they never stopped stealing. So, in order for us to maintain a relationship with our family, we had to create the Degani de Ohade. And this was presented to the bloodlines that come from across the great waters. It was first presented to the Dutch in the year 1616. It was then presented to the French, and then to the British, even to the so-called Americans. It was presented to all, and all have accepted it. What this is, is it is very simple. As you see, it is called the two-row wampum because there is two rows. It was identified that one row is my people in our canoe, and the other row is the peoples who came from across the great waters in their vessel. And as you see, that these two rows never touch. That it is identified <coughs> that we are to travel this river of life together, side by side, not interfering with one another. And as you see that these lines are straight, that is our path, that our path is straight. That there is no corruption in it. That we are very close vicinity to each other. That this means that if you ever need help, that I am bound by law to help you. And also, that if I ever need help, that the other side is bound by law to help me. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Based on what I think I believe about you. This is what I think I believe so far. The little bit of research that I did. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'll say it the way that I know it. According to your law, that if you are ever, or when you are in other territories, that you must abide by the law of the land of those territories. <coughs> Am I wrong? In, in the interpretation of what I am saying, of your law. Am I correct? Yes. If I am correct, then I say to you, <coughs> my sisters and brothers, this is the law of the land. 
This is the law of this land. You are in Turtle Island. You are not in Canada. Whatever Canada is, Canada is not a place. Canada is a state of mind. And it's a state of mind where we isolate ourselves from our humanity. It's a place where racism takes place. It's a place where hatred takes place. Where anger and aggression is the rule, not the exception. Because you can see it right in so-called Canada's governmental system. How disrespectful they are. I will say to you, understand that the pirate ship that I told you that came here 500 years ago, it has never left. You are under pirate law. You are on the deck of the pirate ship. And that is the pirate fleet of the pirate nation of Britain. They are the ones that brought and sent their pirate fleet here to destroy my people, to destroy this land, as if it is theirs to <coughs> exploit, as if it is theirs to take my trees, to dig up my land, to poison my water. This is what Canada is. It is not a place. It is a state of mind where the people relinquish humanity, where they relinquish respect. I will say to you that we respect you enough to come here, to make it our effort, to come here and to offer you a condolence for your great loss, but to identify to you a truth. We don't come here to speak niceties. We come here to speak truth. And this truth is, on the deck of the pirate ship, I will say that there is no racism. It may look like racism on the pirate ship, but you know what? There is equal rage and anger and hate towards everybody on that pirate ship. Because pirate law is, steal as much as you can, be corrupt as you can, and everything that you gather, it belongs to that pirate captain. So, the purpose of coming here today is for us to appeal to your identity. We do not want to see the same thing happen to you as what has happened to countless others that came before you. I will say to you, the first ones, the first wave that came off that pirate ship was the killer Christians. They came in and they killed everybody. Everybody. We are lucky even to be alive today. What is your identity? I appeal to your identity. There is something greater happening into this world right now. I will say, out of respect, do not travel here to my land to be a part of that pirate ship. Travel here to my land to find your humanity back once again where we can build humanity back. Not for me, not for you, and not for others, but for all, the entire body. If there are those within the body who cannot see the truth and the realities, and who live with disrespect, then we have to do the work of love for them. The responsibility lies upon us. In all these years, 500 years, we have observed that nation. They are the life givers. The men are the life protectors. This is our job. So we want to present this to you because 
We do not want you to be our enemies. We want you to be our sisters and brothers. We want to have a relationship of respect. You will not be able to attain this through democracy. Democracy is the poison that is strangling this world. It is not even democracy, it is a lie. The true word of what it is, is democratalism. It's democracy protecting capitalism. And when you step on board the pirate ship, everybody is a democratalist. Do not become this. Stay within your identity. Honor and respect your own identity. Honor and respect our identity. And together, here in this land, we will begin to return peace to the world through law. Because our law is the same. There is no difference between our law, your law, the law of anybody else anywhere around the world. It gets lost in interpretation because something so significant has been <coughs> taken away from us. The counseling process does not exist anymore. Male dominance has taken away the counseling process. So I'll leave you with this. Over 500 years, we have been receiving the scourge of the pirates. The pirate fleet of Britain is still here, still thieving, raping, and murdering. Ask yourself this. After you steal something, how long does it take for it to become yours? The answer to that is never. So think of the hypocrisy in the world right now. I'm sure some of you have heard this, that right now, the Jewish people have the entire machination of the United Nations returning to them works of art that were stolen 100 years ago, 150 years ago. Then let's have that same machination of the UN return everything that is stolen all that has been stolen here. The land, the people, the love, the respect. The land here is not Canada. It never was and it never will be because the original people here will never devolve into that state of being. Do not allow this to happen to yourself. Perhaps everyone has left their homes because of atrocities that are happening around the world. Think of this. Who committed these atrocities in your homeland? And now you are here in their pirate ship. And when you are here, don't forget that all your tax dollars, all your energy goes into that pirate ship that continues to bring the chaos into your homelands. This is craziness. We are in chaos. We must have convention between us. And the convention between us is this. Degeni Diohadi. This is the law of the land. The law of the land, our mothers are the authority. We bring you this message as a beginning to break the ice between us to where maybe within, who knows, maybe within a month, maybe within six months or a year, we will begin dialogue. And you know what? That will show the rest of the world what everyone else had come here for to do. None of them has ever taken these steps. We ask you, take these steps with us. Let's be sisters and brothers. Let's show the rest of the world what they could not do. The disrespect that they have brought here and that they have shown, let's show the world how human beings do it. We have a great responsibility ahead of us because the problems of the world are not going to be fixed by the people who have caused these problems. The problems of the world are not going to be fixed by the governments of this world. 
The problems of this world are going to be fixed only by one person. You. Only you. No one else. It is you that is going to make the change. If you follow in the same vein as the people that have been here for 500 years, then you will take your place on that pirate ship. And you will be my enemy. Don't be my enemy. Be my sister, be my brother, be my friend, be my ally. From allies, we will make friends. Those will be true friends. We extend our hand in friendship to you. From here, we will wait for an invitation for us to come and to begin dialogue. And if you do not begin dialogue with us, there is people in this territory. I am, in case you do not know, I am Ganyagahaga. I identified that in the beginning. That is what you know as Moha. What the rest of the world knows as Moha. For me, it is a miracle <coughs> that you even see me alive. It is a miracle against all odds that my father and that I am still alive in this world to speak these words. Because the originals in all our people are disappearing. We don't want this to happen. We know that all humanity, the entire world, is waiting for leadership. No, it's not going to come from anywhere else. The law of the land. Uh,